they want your little toes. Well, another one of those Kentucky days. Hey, Bill Guy. Another one of those Kentucky days where it started off sunny and the rain sheeted down, and now, well, it's quiet. Hey, Pauline, good to see you. Melissa Benton. Thanks. I think I'm good. I think I'm good. I, uh, yeah, quiet, quiet. How about you? You doing okay? Julia Tyson. Julia, I can't remember your work. Are you one of the counselors or do you supervise the counselors? Nicole and I were trying to remember the other day and if I look at your Facebook page it might tell me I don't remember but oh I'm glad you are out that's good. Hey Leah. How far did you get Bill before you got soaked? Yeah, yeah, it's good evening to be inside, pop some popcorn or whatever. You're one of the counselors. Okay, okay, fabulous, fabulous, fabulous. For the three years I worked with a counselor at the elementary school back in Mercer County when I was a volunteer mentor, it seemed like she was running 180 miles an hour the whole time. Uh, so I admire you all. It was like just constant stuff. Constant, constant going. Oh, Bill, I'm sorry. That sucks. 627. All right. All right, bed, bed, go on, bed. Lily's got a lot to share this evening, I guess. Hey, Judith, good to see you. <clears throat> Let's see, I better put her in since she's going to be squeaking the whole time. Yeah, I admire you all, Julia, and the work you're doing, and the fact that you can go like that. Uh, yeah, not built that way. Holy cow. <laughs> well, we are on page 109, 109, an order of worship for the evening. Uh, once you get there, let us pray together. Oh, wow, there you go. There you go. Well, I, what's, uh, it's good to see you, Sue. I hope that it is beautiful there. It's quiet here in Frankfurt. Page 109. Light and peace in Jesus Christ our Lord. It is not ourselves that we proclaim. We proclaim Christ Jesus as Lord and ourselves as your servants for Jesus' sake. The same God who said, out of darkness let light shine, has caused his light to shine within us, to give the light of revelation, the revelation of the glory of God in the face of Jesus Christ. Let us pray. Almighty God, we give you thanks for surrounding us as daylight fades with the brightness of the Vesper light, and we implore you of your great mercy that as you enfold us with the radiance of this light, so you would shine into our hearts the brightness of your Holy Spirit. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. 
On page 112 is the Phos Hilaron. Let us read that together. O gracious light, pure brightness of the ever-living Father in heaven, O Jesus Christ, holy and blessed, now as we come to the setting of the sun and our eyes behold the vesper light, we sing your praises, O God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. You are worthy at all times to be praised by happy voices, O Son of God, O giver of life, and to be glorified through all the worlds. Oh, there's my wife. Hello, Ms. Nicole. Tonight's Psalms are 59 and 60. 59 and 60, they begin on page 665. Psalms 59 and 60, beginning on page 665. Once you get there, let us read those together. <clears throat> Scott and Kathy, good to see y'all. We are on page 665, getting ready to read Psalms 59 and 60. Let us read together. Rescue me from my enemies, O God. Protect me from those who rise up against me. Rescue me from evildoers and save me from those who thirst for my blood. See how they lie in wait for my life, how the mighty gather together against me, not for any offense or fault of mine, O Lord, not because of any guilt of mine. They run and prepare themselves for battle. Rouse yourself, come to my side and see, for you, Lord God of hosts, are Israel's God. Awake and punish all the ungodly. Show no mercy to those who are faithless and evil. They go to and fro in the evening. They snarl like dogs and run about the city. Behold, they boast with their mouths and taunts are on their lips. For who, they say, will hear us? But you, O Lord, you laugh at them. You laugh all the ungodly to scorn. My eyes are fixed on you, O my strength. For you, O God, are my stronghold. My merciful God comes to meet me. God will let me look in triumph on my enemies. Slay them, O God, lest my people forget. Send them reeling by your might, and put them down, O Lord, our shield. For the sins of their mouths, for the words of their lips, for the cursing and lies that they utter, let them be caught in their pride. Hey, Jenny Fox, good to see you. We're on page 666, reading the psalm together. Make an end of them in your wrath. Make an end of them, and they shall be no more. Let everyone know that God rules in Jacob and to the ends of the earth. They go to and fro in the evening. They snarl like dogs and run about the city. They forage for food, and if they are not filled, they howl. For my part... I will sing of your strength. I will celebrate your love in the morning. For you have become my stronghold, a refuge in the day of my trouble. To you, O my strength, will I sing. For you, O God, are my stronghold and my merciful God. And we continue with Psalm 60. O God, you have cast us off and broken us. You have been angry. O oh, take us back to you again. You have shaken the earth and split it open. Repair the cracks in it, for it totters. You have made your people no hardship. You have given us wine that makes us stagger. You have set up a banner for those who fear you, to be a refuge from the power of the bow. Save us by your right hand and answer us, that those who are dear to you may be delivered. God spoke from his holy place and said, I will exult and parcel out Shechem. I will divide the valley of Sukkot. Gilead is mine, and Manasseh is mine. Ephraim is my helmet, and Judah my scepter. Moab is my wash basin. On Edom I throw down my sandal to claim it, and over Philistia will I shout in triumph. Who will lead me into the strong city? Who will bring me into Edom? Have you not cast us off, O God? 
we no longer go out, O God, with our armies. Grant us your help against the enemy, for vain is the help of man. With God we will do valiant deeds, and he shall tread our enemies underfoot. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Our Gospel for this evening is Matthew 14, verses 13 to 21. Uh, this is right after the death of John the Baptist. Hey, Christina, good to see you. Now, when Jesus heard this, he withdrew from there in a boat to a deserted place by himself. But when the crowds heard it, they followed him on foot from the towns. When he went ashore, he saw a great crowd, and he had compassion on them and cured their sick. When it was evening, the disciples came to him and said, This is a deserted place, and the hour is now late. Send the crowds away so that they may go into the villages and buy food for themselves. Jesus said to them, They need not go away. You give them something to eat. They replied, We have nothing here but five loaves and two fish. And he said, Bring them here to me. Then he ordered the crowds to sit down on the grass. Taking the five loaves and the two fish, he looked up to heaven and blessed and broke the loaves and gave them to the disciples and the disciples gave them to the crowds, and all ate and were filled. And they took up what was left over of the broken pieces, twelve baskets full. And those who ate were about five thousand men, besides women and children. Here ends the reading. On page 95, <coughs> excuse me is Canticle 21. Page 95, Canticle 21, You Are God. Once you get there, let us read that together. Got a squirrel over there that thinks the bird feeders are put out particularly for her. So there's been some thumping and banging over there while she tries to negotiate all that. We'll see what happens. <laughs> Page 95, Canticle 21. You are God, we praise you. You are the Lord, we acclaim you. You are the eternal Father, all creation worships you. To you all angels, all the powers of heaven, cherubim and seraphim, sing in endless praise. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. The glorious company of apostles praise you. The noble fellowship of prophets praise you. The white-robed army of martyrs praise you. Throughout the world, the Holy Church acclaims you, Father of majesty unbounded, your true and only Son, worthy of all worship, and the Holy Spirit, advocate and guide. You, Christ, are the King of glory, the eternal Son of the Father. When you became man to set us free, you did not shun the virgin's womb. You overcame the sting of death, and open the kingdom of heaven to all believers. You were seated at God's right hand in glory. We believe that you will come and be our judge. Come then, Lord, and help your people, bought with the price of your own blood, and bring us with your saints to glory everlasting. We continue on page 120. Hey, Karen, good to see you. Erica Kaiser, good to see you too. On page 120 is the Apostles' Creed. Let us read that together. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Dear friends, the Lord be with you. Let us pray. 
our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. We continue on page 122 with suffrages B. That this evening may be holy, good, and peaceful. That your holy angels may lead us in paths of peace and goodwill. That we may be pardoned and forgiven for our sins and offenses. That there may be peace to your church and to the whole world. That we may depart this life in your faith and fear and not be condemned before the great judgment seat of Christ. That we may be bound together by your Holy Spirit in the communion of the Blessed Virgin Mary and all your saints, entrusting one another and all our life to Christ. O God, your never failing providence sets in order all things, both in heaven and earth. Put away from us, we entreat you, all hurtful things, and give us those things which are profitable for us. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. On page 124 is a prayer for the presence of Christ. Once you get there, let us pray that together. Page 124, a collect for the presence of Christ. Lord Jesus, stay with us, for evening is at hand and the day is past. Be our companion in the way, kindle our hearts, and awaken hope that we may know you as you are revealed in Scripture and the breaking of bread. Grant this for the sake of your love. Amen. And then over on page 832, page 832, prayer 59 for quiet confidence. Once you get there, let us pray that together. Page 832, number 59. O God of peace, who has taught us that in returning and rest we shall be saved, in quietness and in confidence shall be our strength. By the might of your Spirit lift us, we pray you, to your presence, where we may be still and know that you are God, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. O God, you manifest in your servants the signs of your presence. Send forth upon us the spirit of love, that in companionship with one another, your abounding grace may increase among us. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. At this time, I invite your thanksgivings and intercession, silently or aloud. Amen. On page 113 at the bottom is a prayer that begins, Almighty, Everlasting God. Page 113. Once you get there, let us pray that together.
Almighty, everlasting God. Let our prayer in your sight be as incense, the lifting up of our hands as the evening sacrifice. Grant us grace to behold you, present in your word and sacraments, and to recognize you in the lives of those around us. Stir up in us the flame of that love which burned in the heart of your Son as he bore his passion, and let it burn in us to eternal life and to the ages of ages. Amen. Dear friends, the Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. Let us go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Good to see you. Always good to see you. I hope that you are doing well overall and that you and your loved ones are safe. Give a shout to your clergy if you need to talk. Otherwise, I'll see you back here tomorrow at 6.30. Blessings, friends.